Hello all, welcome to Center Pivot. In this video, I am gonna explain about roughness map in 3D workflow. This is the agenda of this video. I will explain about what is roughness map and how roughness works in 3D department. How to create roughness map in Substance Painter with some live examples. Okay. What is roughness map? Light scratches across the surface of the 3D object is called roughness. That means every object has its own roughness. So if you are if the light passes through the object, it reflects some areas. If the object is shiny, means then it will be glossy, glossy surface. If the object doesn't have any roughness, means then the object will be looks flat and then it is a rough like wood. Some raw wood is there. Like that will be the flat surface. Roughness only gives the information and details of the 3D surface like it is shine or flat. Based on the roughness values only, the object will look glossy or roughness only. It varies in the gray shades. That means roughness is a grayscale map. Wait, I will show the examples. Roughness having only the white and black information. That means the grayscale image. Okay. It varies in the range of gray shades only. Here see the example of the image. Here in the bottom roughness is zero. That means the object is fully scattering and reflects the environment. If it is increased a little bit, little bit, then the object will be looks flat. That is the one roughness. In Substance Painter, it is mentioned as 0 to 1. That's why I mentioned here 0 to 1. Okay. These are the examples. Let's check again. Simply, I, I will tell how roughness works is if the in this area, this is very shiny. That means over, over glossy. That means that the area having only the black information in the roughness map. If the area having white color means then that is a rough area. There is one roughness value of 1. This area is having 1 and this area is having 0. That means 0 means shiny and 1 means no roughness. Okay, we will go to the live example in Substance Painter. Wait. See, this is a model. Doesn't have any roughness. Then it, then now it looks like, it will be looks like flat in all the areas. But in the real world, in the PBR workflow, the object is the steel need to be looks glossy and the wood not to look glossy if the wood is varnished means then it will be look glossy otherwise it is not glossy for this object the wood is not varnished very flat wood so i'm just adding one layer roughness layer okay this is for wood okay i'm just on roughness only if i turn to 1 means the roughness having the values of white shade that means there is no shiny there no glossy effect in the model only the rough effect but in our model it's having steel also so we need to separate that's why i'm just masking some areas using the uv i'm giving white mask and then removing some areas Okay, now see this area is missed and then this area is having flat. Now I'm again adding one more thing and then invert. This one is for handle. Now I'm just increasing the roughness value to this one. See now here go to roughness map and then check. If the roughness is having dark values then the then the model is glossy you can be able to see in material view okay if roughness is doesn't have anything means then it will be flat like wood texture see here it is a raw wood that's why i added lot of roughness but one is too much we can reduce to this much that is enough for roughness of the steel i given to 0.1 or you can reduce it a little bit also then it will be looks shiny i can add metal so metal nice also Okay. Now let's go to the second thing. Just understood this concept. Roughness is work based on values. Zero means shiny. One means flat. Next object I am going to this one. 
this is a complex roughness map model why i am saying that this is a old rusted ac that means that this is already rusted with uh, hair and then water so that means so we need to create with realistic feel that's why the roughness map will be looks like this one okay this is not too much black not too much white it is midway of the gray okay that's why it is in this this kind of effect otherwise it will not give with this kind of effect i will create one thing you you can understood that one i just created a fill layer and then created black mask and then added paint layer for what i am just need to create some black color some shiny effect in the this area okay so i am just painting some areas with uh, brushes or alphas see here i painted with some random that will impact our model see before this is after then we'll go to roughness map see here only is dark color that's why it looks like shiny okay if i paint some areas randomly then this areas will be looks random but this is not real but in real world it will not like this only uh, for the new objects only the object will looks like glossy for the used one we need to create this kind of effects okay this is i created manually by painting and then some using generators okay i think this video will be useful for you if it is not able to understand means please comment i will create a separate video again and then i will upload For more videos please subscribe our channel thanks for watching